Hello my students and listeners out there. Welcome to another session, or should I say lesson? Time to get it Monday. Listen, I'm gonna get right into it. Today, guess what we're gonna talk about? Bet you don't know. Every cause have an effect. So cause and effect. Do we see cause and effects in our life? Let me explain something to you. There's a lot of people that do things in their life, and I'm gonna tell you, they don't realize and understand that it will always have an effect. Let me get right into this, right? Let me get right into this. Let's just go and talk about a simple meal, right? So let's just say you're eating hamburgers and french fries and all these delicious meals, right? That got a little preservatives. We might go to McDonald's, we may do this, and we do it two or three times a week. And we might not think that it's bad, and it's not bad at the moment, but you let a month go by, you only gain two pounds, right? In a year, you only gain 24 pounds. Think about 24 pounds. Would it make you look different? Absolutely. And you add two years to that, you're 48 pounds overweight. Yes, every cause have an effect. But what most people don't realize and understand while they're eating that meal is that it's not good. We drive by the stores, we see the specials that they have, four for five bucks. Oh yeah, four items or five bucks or five items for four bucks. You know, we got all these restaurants that got all these deals, but they don't tell you how it's gonna affect your heart. They don't tell you how it's gonna affect your, your pants size. It doesn't tell you, they don't tell you how it's gonna affect your integrity, right? Your integrity to yourself, your health, the benefits. You don't get benefits for eating bad foods like that. Why did I use that as an analogy? Because it's about life. Life is about consequences. And let me, let me explain something else to you. How about people that's going out and meeting certain people in their lives? And the people aren't very positive. Guess what? That's gonna chip away at you, chip away at you, and you know those negative naysayers out there. You may have some, they might be some of your friends. And guess what? You might be that person. Here's the thing, if we have negative things in our life, it's gonna have a negative and adverse effect. Absolutely, it will affect us eventually in a bad way. Absolutely, so what am I saying? Every cost have an effect, we have to do everything in our power to eat right, to be healthy, to have lettuce, to have salads, to balance our foods out. Can you cheat a little bit? Absolutely. But you gotta also understand that you got one body and your body is your temple. And it says that in the Bible. Your body is your temple and you gotta treat it like, like it's your only one. Cause guess what? You only have one. Absolutely. So take care of yourself. Take care of your friendships and make sure you surround yourself around positive people. Why? Because if you hang around with negative naysayer, guess what it's gonna do? It's gonna bring you down. Let me use something here. Let me share something with you. So have you ever been around a person and when you get around that person, they start saying certain things and then you hear it and it's a little bit negative and your energy feels like it's becoming drained? Yes, it happens. If you don't, if you're not consciously aware of that, Start analyzing how other people make you feel. Start analyzing the conversations and start seeing how it changes your mood as a person. So if it changes your mood and it's not very positive, guess what? It is affecting every aspect of your life. Yes, it affects the way you wake up. It affects the way you have interactions with other people. It affects the course of your day. It also affects your spirit. So you gotta be careful who you surround yourself around. Gotta make sure you're around positive people and positive energy. And you also have to do, you also have to take care of yourself. When you take care of yourself, your mind, your body, your soul, there's nothing that you cannot accomplish in this world. I'm your guy, John Neal Jr. Thank you for tuning in to this lovely lesson and please come back to the next one. And remember, stay positive and feed your mind and your body with healthy thoughts and healthy food.